What is up, it's Figure Hunter, and today we're going to look at the official launch of the Haven Athletic Backpack, both in large and small sizes. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, but more importantly, there's going to be a link in the description below where you can purchase yours and receive $10 off your initial purchase. Only those people who are going to purchase probably in the next seven days at the most will actually be able to get the first shipment to their doors, to their homes in the fastest time possible. But I want to say just at the outset, this is the single best compartmentalized backpack on the market today. We're going to look at the ins and outs of the overall design and features. We're going to look at it sort of slightly and briefly against the large duffel that Haven offers now, which is in a fantastic solution in itself. We're going to look at it versus the competitors, namely the Velites Storm backpack, which I've been using for months. And we're going to look at a sort of the span of competitors that are out there in the backpack realm and talk about specifically why the Haven Athletic Backpack is the best solution on the market today by a large margin. So with that, let's dive into this new thing and look at all the features and some of the tweaks they've done since they released the initial prototypes in this final edition. So let's dive in. Okay, so this is the Haven Large Backpack. And I think for the money, this is absolutely the one you want to go with. It's got these external sort of strap system, bungee cord system. And we're going to look at a couple things that's really cool about the features of that. It's got an up front top uh, vented pouch here, a small insert pouch here for like a phone, and then a uh, large uh, laptop pack there. It's got car places for carabiner clips on both sides and a water bottle sort of stretch container there. And then we're gonna look, so the main open area is like a, like a suitcase. It's gonna come with the, the strap side. So the strap side is where you open the suitcase you can see on the straps themselves, you got places for carabiner clips, and there's some features we're gonna look at in a second that are, again, phenomenal. You could strap it onto your luggage so that the luggage canister comes up between the two. Um, and then we're gonna get into the main compartment now. All, also on the side, you have your shoe entrance point. This goes to the main compartment, which we're gonna look at in a second, but this is where you could slide your shoes in and out. But I just wanted to mostly just show you the exterior of the backpack, we're going to look at it on $299. And if you use the link that I give you, you get $10 off the first purchase. You got to purchase sooner, like right away, if you are interested, because I think they're going to have a certain number of supply. They're going to ship more immediately when it releases um, on March 1st at um, 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern. But that is the Haven exterior. So let's take a look at some of the details. Okay, so in this upper portion, this is where it just pulls down. It's got vented portions. You can put your sweaty knee sleeves in here. You could throw in extra accessories because the main compartment is going to be on the backpack side or the strap side. So this is just like an overflow if you need it or, you know, obviously sweaty items because it's got ventilated things. You have a small little feature pocket here, which is good for phone or small, obviously small things because it's just small sort of uh, smooth interior there. And then this you can fit a whole 17 inch laptop, like I mentioned, it's just continuous. If you wanted to use this as a rucksack, you could fill it with a 20 pound um, lead weight and it would you know, obviously become a 20 pound backpack at that point. But the main thing I wanna show you obviously is the interior of the organization system. So you can see here that you have all of the compartmentalization you would ever want in a primary sort of CrossFit, heavy lifting, you know, weightlifting, power lifter, electric, Olympic lifter. So you have, you know, the small size compartmentalization areas, the medium size and the two large size. Here's the exit point for the shoes. So this would be like where your primary shoes would go. And we're going to look at how you might be able to outline this in a second. So you have two small vented zipper pouches here. One non-vented and then one large vented and we're going to look at a simple snapshot of how you might fill this bag and ways you could even change it all right so this is the backpack on you can see it it, it holds nicely it is super light relative to the other backpack i'm going to compare it to in a second um the straps everything works well a couple of feature details that i really like that haven does really well and accentuate some of their attention to detail so this isn't just sort of a strap it's got like a bungee cord system um, that's really neat. And then also it's totally adjustable and Haven does a great job at making things, you know, customizable like that. And then even the detail to the strap 
here is just a magnetic, but once it's in place, it is not coming off. So it's easy to unbuckle. You don't have to push the two sides anymore. You just unbuckle like that. Their attention detail is great, but that's how it is. This is what it looks like on the back. Okay, so the bungee cord system, there's actually two different ways you can use it. You can obviously use it like it comes out of the box, but what's really cool about these little gizmos is that they actually unattach. It's got like a, a hook on the back side, and so you can take them all off. You can have it just be the upper two, the bottom three, whatever you want, and there's even uh, two of these little guys on the bottom, but that is one thing that's really neat. It perfectly holds a yoga mat. It perfectly holds a jacket, and I'm going to show you a sample when I get it all packed up of how I could, you know, use it for a weight belt. But the fact that you can change these in and out and in the bag comes two more solid straps that you can actually just go here and here or here and here or there and there. We just, you know, you'll see in a second, but really, really cool extra compartment compartment or way to carry things. Okay, so in this piece, I just keep chalk because I don't use chalk every day and there's chalk at the gym, but if I want my dedicated chalk, extra hand wraps if I want to have backups if the other ones are just too sweaty, and then extra tape. But it's sort of the catch-all because, again, the compartment's open from the backside. So I use what I put in here is stuff that I might not ever access, um, but I want to have on hand if I need it. Okay, so here's a basic way that I would do it. I like things clean and simple. Um, I'm going to give you a suggestion for what other things you could add, but you have your shoes, weight belt, jump rope, hand wraps for uh, pull-ups, uh, wrist wraps for heavy lifting, chest sensor, uh, mouthpiece, tape, and barbell buckles. And then on the top piece, I just keep my double under and a journal here. I can't zip this up because the journal I chose just doesn't fit in that thing, but it doesn't ever matter because it doesn't ever fall out. Um, but one thing I would just point out about it in this whole compartment area is you can mix and match whatever. You could put this here and you have plenty of room and then you could put nutrients or you know supplements pre-workout here you could easily fit clothes like a change of clothes on top um, and what i found is that you can actually use the straps on the outside to hold a weight belt and you could put everything here and then you can put lifters in on this other shoe canister and just have your lifters ready to go at all times and really not be pushing out the in the envelope of how much space is available it's just an easy idea there's probably more ingenious ways to actually use this external system. But for me, it's kind of easy because I can just grab my weight belt. My weight belt's not taking up space. It's actually, you know, form fitted because it's on the exterior of the bag by just popping it there. Okay, so a main question you might ask yourself is with the backpack, is there anything lost with the large duffel? Like the, what, which Haven athletic bag should you buy? Because you absolutely should be buying one of the Haven athletic bags. So we're gonna look at these sort of side by side and just sort of look at a hands-on comparison, okay? So this is the large duffel versus the large backpack. Obviously, the large duffel is the biggest of what Haven offers, and it has the most expansive compartmentalization you could possibly ever want. It's the same price as the backpack, but in my opinion, the backpack is gonna fit 99% of everybody's needs and do it incredibly well with plenty of extra space. The large duffel is 50 liters. The large backpack is 37 liters. So it's about a 40% decline in size. But if you look at it, you know, the, the backpack still has plenty of space. You look at the height, you know, I mean, so th this is a little bit higher. But if you look at it end over end, then the backpack's a little bit wider. So somehow this just has more space. And we're going to look for a millisecond at the compartmentalization. So we saw the compartmentalization of the backpack. We're not going to look at that. But on the compartmentalization differences, just to sort of highlight what you see the differences are, here you just get a little bit smaller. So you get it smaller, medium, medium, extra large. And then you have the shoe canister, which sort of separates how you might be able to maximize what you're shoving in this bag. If you're packing in a ton of supplements, multiple shoes and, you know, a leather style weight belt and multiple changes of clothes or whatever this might be the one to go for um, but if you just again you're just looking at pure size difference this is the size difference between the two so it's not starkly different so again the backpack just has a ton of ease at carrying because and you're using the the large duffel this is the one thing that i have a hard time with so it is it protrudes it doesn't form fit your body because it's made it's got a good firm uh exterior side uh, size to it so it just sort of 
it swings, you know, it's just, it gets easier, harder to get through doorways, that sort of thing. So it has more space for sure. But to me, the convenience of having a backpack that you just throw on and you're off to the races and it's, it's sleek more on your body, I think is the dream. Sleep. And now looking side by side at the Haven athletic backpack versus the Velite Storm, which has some good sort of sort of solutions with compartmentalization. We're just going to look at sort of the hands on side by side of these two really, you know, premier backpacks on the market today. OK, so this is the Velite Storm backpack. I have been using this for about six months and I'll tell you the exact reason why. I got the prototype model for the Haven Athletic, and then I got the sort of near final release model. So at two different points over the last eight months, I have tested the backpack and had to send it back. Since that time, I have to have a backpack. I just have to have a backpack. So this, the Velites, I did a review for. It is sort of has compartmentalization, but I want to show it because it's only one of the ones that's sort of competitive. You can see that it's obviously bigger. Um, this is actually going to be much more expensive when it comes out of Kickstarter. Right now on Kickstarter, it's like in the 300s, and when it comes out, it's going to be like 350 to $400. But this is how it looks size-wise difference. And just to show you like two seconds, you know, how they accomplish compartmentalization if you want to have different accessories for CrossFit or Olympic lifting or powerlifting. They have this little baby bag and you can take the bag off and it holds a few things in here. And then they have what's called the toiletry bag that also comes out and you can take things here. So that's how they do it. They also are coming out with an internal partition that will be released later but is not yet available. But look at the same reoccurring problem all backpacks everywhere have that Haven has solved. You just have this like catch-all. And it's like it's, it's black. If you have anything black, any black accessories, they're lost. They're gone. You're never going to find them again because it's just like this big abyss. And if anybody's been to a box or a gym, it's not always the most well lit. So you're just you're digging in here for your stuff. Where's my thing? And it doesn't accomplish, although it did fulfill a gap in a, me using it for the last six months, but just not nearly like what you have with this final production Haven large backpack. All right, so looking at the bags on the market today, obviously stop first at Noble. This is like the quintessential bag that we'll first look at, just the waxed canvas duffel bag that you see a lot of the CrossFit athlete games wearing because they're given free bags at, um, when they sign in. So not a whole lot of detail or multiple pictures. You see it has a side pick holder for your phone, uh, $200, and it is just a big open sack. I mean, basically, it just is just one big compartment. Um, next, we'll look at the Tupud. Tupud's got a place for the weight belt, but if you look just in general at um, the different pictures that they put up, and how it may, it's got a shoe canister on the bottom. That's at least something different. We're not gonna look at these, we're gonna look at just this. I think there's a picture of just the open gaping hole in the backpack, and no, there's not. But basically it's just a one large backpack that does have um, a place for the belt and a place for shoes. Then you have built for athletes. I uh, don't know a whole lot about them, but it is just, again, just sort of a base. Look how deep that guy's having to reach into the bag right there. It's like huge compartment. That's where it's gonna hold all your stuff. Here you can see the huge compartment broken down in the middle right here. Um, it's just one big pack. That's what you're gonna get into. Then you have Wolfpack, um, another sort of quasi well-known company so you can look at all their pictures as you just sort of scroll down and that's all you get you get one big satchel now on the outside obviously they have sleeves you know they have extra little canisters you can see right there you can hold a bunch of stuff but in the essence you just get one big pack in the middle um, then you have 511's tactical bag you know this has got all sorts of different aspects to it but it's really again outside exterior compartmentalization and when you get to the interior you just one big bag um, then you have project rock pro uh, from you know under armor it doesn't have anything really to it it just sort of basically says that the back flap will have some compartmentalization for work and stuff but other than that you can see at the top that it is just sort of a zipper top big huge compartment that you're mainly going to use for your uh, needs. Then you have Bear Complex, same concept. Lots of exterior small pockets if you want to put things in and then just one big, you know, piece in the middle. Obviously, it's got like a center 
compartmentalization, but it's not at all breaking down where you can just quick grab things. You have to go inside and then inside again to be able to get access. All right, what do I think of the Haven Athletic Backpack? In summary, after having tested the initial, initial prototypes and then sort of a near final version prototype and now this backpack here today. I absolutely believe there is not a better solution for workouts, for preparing for the gym, especially if you're a CrossFitter or a weightlifter or Olympic lifter than the Haven Athletic Backpack. I don't think there is anything like it on the market as we have just summarized and surveyed. There is nothing that in any way comes close to the compartmentalization that makes life so much easier if you have a few different types of accessories that you usually like to take on your backpack. Like if you're just, you know, going to a generic gym, throwing in your shoes and a workout outfit, maybe a towel, then maybe one of the sort of generic backpacks might work. But this works so much better. It gives you the ability to expand how you compartmentalize and have quick and easy visible access to all the different components you might need in a workout. And on top of it, it is much lighter than the Velite Storm backpack. That it, it feels so much more compact. It feels so much just better on my back and so much more useful in day-to-day -day life. I absolutely think you should check out the description below to get the link to purchase and get it within the first few days just so that you get your backpack on the way to delivery to your home. And if you can't get it in the first wave, definitely still worth waiting and getting the second or third wave. And definitely continue to look at the whole Haven Athletic lineup because their bags are bar none, not comparable to anything else on the market is they are the best. So with that, it's a Fit Gear Hunter. Thanks so much for watching.